Okay, so what this is, is uh, this is beam technology um, used for making like uh, little autonomous little little robots. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm going to take the same circuit and use it for uh, discouraging gophers and moles in my garden. So I'm going to have it hooked up to a solar panel like this. Well, here's another version of it. I'll show you how it works. So because this motor takes a little bit more juice to, um, to run it than the solar panel has. So what it does, it stores it up and it, um, it sends a pulse to the motor. And uh, the flashing LED also has, acts as an activator too to help release uh, the electrons out of the capacitors. Um, it's a pretty simple circuit. I'll take this outside and show you how it works. If you can hear it, it's actually going right now. A little motor. That's a little cog hit in the side of the plastic. That's how much torque it's got. The little motor's going pretty good. So this one I designed, put it together for, um, it's kind of like a prototype for uh, for the gophers and moles. I only have one up there right now. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch more together and see how they work with some different designs. But this one is like pretty compact. It sits in there. What I wanna do is put some pegs so it goes into the soil and then it, what it does, it vibrates the motor and it agitates the earth, sends out little vibrations and moles are very sensitive. You know, they have no eyes. So they use a lot of their smell and, uh, and hearing uh, for, nav for navigation. See, but this little circuit right here, this is what I'm using for, um, I'm going to put, it's the same same circuit as the mole chaser, um, but a lot, um, designed a lot compact. I'm going to make it even smaller. Um, but I'm going to put this inside of a fishing lure. And what this does, and if you can see the little motor. So I'm going to try to get that in there. Maybe it'll help me catch some fish. Um, so I'll show you the parts that you need. You need a motor, capacitor between I don't know 4,700 and uh, 470 microfarads. You're gonna need a flashing LED. Um, red works the best. Um, you need a 3906 transistor 3904 I'm using you need a one between a one and ten ohm uh, resistor I'm using a 2.2k a solar panel um, over three volts output Now with the motor, so here's here's one motor. This is one out of a out of a phone or a pager motor, pager motor, an older pager. This one's even smaller. And this one on the right. 
I took out of a phone. There's the phone. To get to this little part. Snapped the, the head off of it. Peeled back the top. And I found it right about in there. So this is the one I'm going to use for... To go inside there. Now, now to get this, what I did was I went to Harbor Freight, got this for about six bucks, five ninety nine. I think I paid all this. It's a little light. It's got a battery. It charges during the day, and then at night, uh, the photo cell triggers, and it turns on during the evening. Let's go ahead and uh, put the rest of the parts to the side. There's the cell. There's the inside. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and unscrew this. Go ahead and snip the solar panel from the circuit. This little circuit's got a photo diode, um, some other components, rechargeable battery, the on and off switch. Now this is all good stuff. Now this is, do not throw this away. This is all stuff that we can uh, reuse later. So here's the unit designed for the garden. I just took the same uh, Harbor Freight light modified. Now this is made to get rid of my gophers and my mole problem. See my tomatoes are wilting because I got moles. Now what I have is a circuit that's powering a motor uh, with a counterweight. I don't know if you can, you can't really, I think if I hold still you can see it move a little bit. It's barely rocking. Maybe you can hear it. Anyways, there's the circuits. Modified light. 